Hello everyone, this is Charlie with Hot Tips, and this is day four with Android. So as you guys could see from the first part, I got a new uh, lock screen, bootloader, whatever thing. Uh, looks like this. Uh, my unlocker, uh, I guess, I don't know if you call it a bubble or what. If I put my mouse right here, or my finger right here, see how it's kind of like pulsating? It's kind of cool, I suppose. But if I move it outside the circle, that's when it unlocks. It's kind of slick. Uh, I went ahead and got the uh, Go Launcher X. Somebody told me to get that. So I went and got that. I have to say, I like it better than what it was previously. I think it has a lot more visual appeal. Um, this unlock thing has nothing to do with that, but um, this is an extra thing that I got, which is kind of cool, I think. I'll talk about that a little bit. Why not? I got uh, instant access to mail, my phone, the web, and a camera. And all I have to do to get instant, ac instant access to that is to just take my hand or my finger on one and drag it into the circle and then it uh, you know opens up to that so it's kinda cool kinda slick my home screen looks a little bit different uh, it's a little bit smoother the movements of this new launcher is a little bit faster um, I only have three home screens there's only three um, but uh, I still have those little uh, widgets up top which I have actually yet to change them so still they're there, but I haven't actually had to use them yet. Um, Twitter, it's kind of cool. I also have a RSS feed like widget at the top, which I can click or tap. I guess tap is the right term, and I can get all this stuff here, uh, recent stories from the sites that I like to follow. And I remember in the first video, I think it was, uh, I said I'd rather have this in a list than just cards to flip through. Turns out it was just me not looking. Uh, at the bottom, of course, you can see there's article list. If I would have tapped that, I would have gotten a big list. And I could read them like a normal RSS feed. So, you know, if I would have just looked a little bit, I would have discovered that. So that's cool. That fits the needs that I wanted it to fit. Um, still have that little widget for my, <clears throat> it's just not updated. But yeah, still have the little widget for my website as well as, uh, you know, home screen icons and stuff. Um, iHeartRadio here and search widget up on top. So Go Launcher X is uh, pretty cool. I have noticed, I, ha I have to come out with it, I have noticed that the animations or the transitions or the rendering of icons on the home screen has been significantly affected by Go Launcher. Um, it's definitely decreased. It's not quite as smooth as it used to be. It's uh, The movements, so far as you can see, are quick, but I did just reboot this phone, so that might be why. But as I started using it throughout the day, it was getting really slow. This is a dual-core device, so it should... I wouldn't have thought it would do that, but it's showing a little bit of sluggishness to it. Um, and when I first got the launcher, when I first got this new uh, launcher, um, which also changes the bottom uh, panel there, so I can do my phone. Uh, these little, this little clear part here. Um, <clears throat> when I first got it, though, and I tried to rearrange icons, they weren't lining up in rows like they are now. They were all over the place, really. And I was just looking, looking at this, going, "This is terribly done. It was terrible." Um, it turned out, as soon as I locked the phone and uh, then unlocked it. Everything kind of lined up. It was weird. So all I needed to do was unlock and unlock the phone. But So that's the new launcher. Uh, I have to say I'm uh, more satisfied with the phone now that I have that launcher. Um, movements are nice and smooth. They're um, more iPhone-esque when it comes to smooth motions between pages now. More iPhone-esque than they were before. iPhone has very fluid, very smooth movements in the UI. And I was hoping to kind of see a little bit, in that, a little bit of that in Android too. And I, I wasn't until I got this. It's a little closer now. I say it's a little closer, but in reality, it's 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 still a little bit of ways. Um, the user interface, at least using this, um, is is different in one distinct way that I just cannot get past. 
Um, and, and I don't know if this changes from device to device. Maybe it's just the Motorola thing again. Um, but it seems like when I touch something or when I want something to happen, it's I tap it and then it happens. It's like I, I say do this and then the device goes, okay, I'll do that. It doesn't feel like I'm physically, you know, I push something and it just it opens. Um, I had that on, on the iPhone. It's it's very, very, it's, it's obvious. It's an obvious difference. You press Facebook and the moment your hand lifts off that icon, Facebook is opening to where this one, I'll press it and it's like, give me a second, now I'm opening. It's a little bit different. I kind of wish it was faster. Dual core, iPhone 4, single core. Underclocked. Come on. Took some people's advice on the whole uh, issue I was having with contacts showing up from Twitter and Facebook. Very simple fix. I just didn't know about the option. It was kind of hidden for me. I didn't really see it. Uh, so that's fixed. I like how you can have a uh, horizontal home screen. But also, like I said, for it's slowness. It's kind of not responsive. And see how the icons just sort of appear. They don't really flow smoothly. They kind of just take a little bit of time to show up. And the response time of the accelerometer is a little bit slow too. So it's, I mean, from horizontal to horizontal isn't that bad, but it's still a little slow. Um, and which is odd because it's a dual core. I figured, you know, fast processor, wow. But, you know, just goes to show you that it's not just hardware specs, it's software. It's that software that's, you know, you can have a fast car, but if you have a stupid driver, it ain't going anywhere. I had one thing that made me really frustrated today. Um, only one. And it was, uh, I actually got pretty frustrated. I quit the phone, I rebooted it, figured something was wrong even. Um, and that was in regards to email. I have an email, this is just a sample email, but I went to go to the bottom and I hate how the options to reply are found at the bottom of the email themselves. They should be here, they should not move, they should always be in the same spot and the window should move around them. There's just no reason for critical buttons to be you have to scroll to get to them. But let's just say, for the sake of saying it, that that's okay. I go and hit reply. So I hit reply, it opens up in a new message uh, thread here, and I can type in this box. When I'm done typing the message, I click back to get rid of the keyboard, which in itself is a little bit weird to me. You have to hit back to get rid of the keyboard. Okay. Um, but even then, let's hit back to get rid of the keyboard. And so now I have my message up, but you'll notice there's a button missing. And for Android people, you probably know exactly where to go to get it. But I have no idea where the hell is the send button. How do I send it? If I wanted to send it, how would I send it? I mean, I know how to add people. I know how to, you know, to do anything inside the window. I can adjust my... Um, you know, my signature at the bottom of the email, but where the hell is the send button? The send button was here, and I didn't know it, but it was in this little additional options section where I could attach atta attachments and all that stuff. I was like blown away. I was like, where the hell is this button? And I couldn't find it. I had no idea where the hell it was. So, uh, yeah, very frustrating. The user interface on email is just not very friendly. Maybe that has to do with canine mail because I was used to trying to figure out the other mail system and now I've got this mail system which canine mail is doing its good, doing its job. It's it's, you know, it's got uh, uh all my mailboxes working fine except send button. I was clueless. I had no idea where the hell it was. I keep forgetting that this button is like an additional options button or like a sub menu button. I just keep forgetting that and it's so, it's kind of annoying to me the fact that I have to remember that this button brings up some kind of hidden menu that has critical features in it like send on an email. So that's a downside. I, I, don't, I don't like that at all. Even though I know where it is, I still don't like that now. Um, it's just not very intuitive at all. But all right, so that's really all I have for this video. I don't really have much else to say. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna put into a rating system, and we're gonna put it, uh, let's say, the top left corner of your screen. Um, we're gonna put a rating system in place. Uh, at least I am. Not well. You can follow along and do it too if you want. Um, but uh, it's basically going to come up like this: um, a ten on the number scale. It's gonna rate it from zero to twenty. Now 10 is my iPhone 4. 
that's the device I'm currently using. It's it's the you know, it's not the most newest generation, but it's the device I'm using. That's going to be a 10 on the scale. The iPhone 4S is going to be the 20 because in my opinion, still even though I've got this and I I've, I've used them all, uh, I've used both iPhones and I'm using this Android here. Um, in my opinion, thus far from what I've experienced, iPhone 4S is the best phone there is on the market. So th that's just how I feel. So that's the 20 on the scale. Um, the 10 is my iPhone 4 and a 0 is the absolute worst device I've ever seen in my life. I can't imagine anyone likes this. Like, I don't know, the HT status or something. <laughs> I don't know. I've never used that, so whatever. Don't base your judgments on the HT status based on me saying that. But anyway, that's the rating system I'm going to put. And I'm going to put it up in the top left of your screen. And uh, we're going to start this video, I'm gonna, or I'm going to end this video with a rating. We're going to start the next video with the same rating. And we'll see how the ratings kind of fluctuate as the video series goes on. Maybe the rating will go up and surpass the iPhone 4. Maybe it will drop a little bit. Maybe it will stay about the same, in my opinion. I have no idea. But um, I have no idea how this is actually going to develop. I just thought of this off the top of my head. So let's do that. Um, right now, I want to be fair. Let's, I'm going to start this at an 8. Right, right now I think it's an eight. It's 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 doing really well. I still think my iPhone is more useful for what I like, especially with the email part, the texting part, um, especially you know. And I have to factor in all the features. And iMessage was a huge one for me. But even so, I'm gonna give this an eight right now. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how that works out. Um, also, I do have another device coming. Um, I think I, I, I can't confirm that because it's not here, but I believe someone is sending me a Nexus S. So that is supposedly the actual Google experience. It's not crowded by Moto Blur or Moto Blah, Moto Blah or whatever you guys are calling it. So um, we'll try the Nexus S2 if that does actually come to me, and I will incorporate that into the rating system as well the moment I get it. So, and we'll try to fiddle with stuff, customize it, make it mine. That's the whole point. So. Um, that's the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. You guys who have been making uh, comments and suggestions on how to improve it, keep them coming. I am I am reading them all, at least the ones that I know about underneath the YouTube video and the, my Facebook page. And um, I've been reading some on the AT&T fan page too. But if they're anywhere else, let me know where you're putting them so I can go and see the comments. Um, and yeah, that's it. So take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.